The emotions are high as Orr and Orson West biological family learn more about the events leading up to their death. 23 ABC's Mythley Gooby is live in downtown Bakersfield with more on the biological family's reaction to the updates today. Mythley. The biological family of Orrin and Orson West say it's been difficult on learning that the boys were dead for three months before being reported missing. Now the adoptive parents are facing murder charges. The family says it's been a challenging time to process all this information and are just trying to stay positive. Now it's time to start grieving. That's Rosanna Willis, the boy's biological cousin. She says her family is in pain after hearing the update Wednesday that the boys are dead. They knew it was a possibility, but still it's a tough reality to deal with. It was a theory, but now it's a fact. She says they think the boys were killed even before leaving Bakersfield. What, what happened? It didn't happen in Cal City, put it like that. They knew it. We knew that. But even with those updates, they still want answers. The, the question is now, where are the boys' bodies? We want to be able to bring them home and, um, you know, give them a proper burial. Keisha Stevenson, a community member who organized monthly candlelight prayers for the boys, adds that there is still a lot of confusion around what happened. Why would they do this? Why, just why? Stevenson adds that they want to thank the community for helping raise awareness to look for the boys. We kept the awareness out there, and I just thank everybody that supported and boots on the ground, whatever you did, I, we just appreciate it. Now we're here at the Liberty Bell by the Kern County Superior Court where a candlelight vigil has been planned for the boys. We'll have more coverage on this coming up tonight. Live in downtown Bakersfield, I'm Maithili Gubi, 23 ABC, connecting you.